the work is really, it's really invigorating, you know, I mean, you, when you're writing like, you know, 20, 30 poems, you know, in a few hours, you know, it's like, it's like kind of like almost like a runner's high, you know, it's almost like a, a writer's high. When I was about eight or nine, I started writing my own poetry to like beats I would listen to. And then I wrote a poem for my grandfather for his birthday. Uh, and um, he cried. And he wasn't like a really like soft man. You know, he was more of like, you know, he was kind of resilient. He was a resilient person. I didn't see him cry that much. And, you know, I think that really made an impact. Poetry on Demand is just kind of just like one of these things you just go out and you just want to like, you just want to connect with people. So I really love the whole process of connection. We're here right now. It's, there's no, you know, it's like I'm making this on the spot. This is, takes all my attention and focus and you're the most important person in the room right now. It gets tough when you're trying to be always creative and then also it be your, you know, your, your career. So to see people come out and support and validate like my feeling that the poetry is good, it really gives me, it really gives me a lot of joy because it makes me feel really good. When you call place, when you call somewhere somewhere home, you know what I mean. You you think overall about how how you interact with the community, and the community has just been very giving. Keep writing, keep putting things out, and know that you need a very small amount of people to enjoy your work for you to like live off of your work and continue doing that work.